Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. It is Angela and I'm here with a thrifty Thursday, thrifty any day video that I thought would be good to do since we have a live sale going on and some of these items are going to be coming to the sale. So before we get started, a quick shout out to all of you who are returning subscribers, all of the those who are new to the channel, and all of you who comment, support, and subscribe, like, you know, all the things. I totally uh, appreciate everything that you guys do just to um, support the channel. So let's see. We have, I don't know if this is going to air on Wednesday or Thursday. It may air on the morning of the live sale. It's a, it's a crap shoot. I don't know. But. I've got some things I went to an estate sale uh, that was spur of the moment last Friday and I picked up some really fun things. And if you saw on my community tab, I did post that I have a bunch of Daphne's diaries coming to the sale. So those are not vintage, but I have lots of other fun things. And in fact, I have some goodies that are uh, not junk jars but they are jars of items that I think you're going to want to see too. So I'm going to get at, after it here and we're just going to start. Um, these little things are going to be giveaways. They, I just thought they were cute. Uh, I did find, these are stickers, Victorian or antique dolls. This is Peter Cottontail stencils. I thought those were cute. Just little tiny things. There was a whole bunch of them, and I kept a few of them that I needed for some upcoming things. But here's some Peter Cottontail tattoos, because, you know, who doesn't want a Peter Cottontail tattoo? So those will just be, like, quick little uh, either package toppers or giveaways or something. I also have a fun set fish card game that it doesn't even look like it's really been ever opened. And so that is going to come to the sale because why not? Then I found, uh, I found some Rand McNally, uh, junior elf or no starter start right elf books. So I have three of those and uh, this sale, the, <laughs> there were so many books and the gal was like, did you see all, all of the vintage and antique books. And I was like, yes. And I walked by the table. <laughs> She's like, well, go check them out. Well, I ended up filling a box. And the interesting thing is it's me, me, me. B key me C. Wow. Say that three times fast. The interesting things about these books is they look a little bit, you know, worn and as they probably should for being from 1956 but inside the pages are really nice and so I have time for your rhyme <clears throat> the giant's shoe this one has a little writing on it and it looks like somebody maybe there was a sticker or something on there in a couple spots but inside they're really really nice so you've seen me do the junior elf book <clears throat> Journals. These would be cute. There were two of these. So I kept one for myself and then this one. Also, the pages are just lovely. So there's some of those that will come in a uh, lot that we will do. So these are the Junior Elf books. And then I have some Teletales. And these are also, I also did some of these for uh, journals as well. So we got Chick and Little. This is one of my favorites. And I just did a journal like this. So we got Chick and Little. Again, X, this is an excellent shape. We have Sherlock Hemlock. Because, you know, I'm a lover of um, Sesame Street. And again, in wonderful, wonderful condition. Winnie the Pooh, The Blustery Day. I think this one is a little bit more, well, the pages are wonderful. But I feel like, yeah, it's just a little bit more worn. This one's really worn on the front. 
and on the side, but I've never seen it before. And it says, I live in the city. And it is from 1969. A is for Avenue. I think this would be a cute book, like for a travel book. Or for someone who's moving to the city. I don't know, but I love the illustrations in it. Like I said, I've never seen that one before. And then Andy, A Visit to the Hospital. Poor Andy. And Kim had this book, and this is from 1950, 65, 66. But again, these are all in, well, no, they're not. This one, Kim must have just wanted to, you know, she was practicing her cursive. <laughs> Well, I wonder how, let's see, do I have a pencil in here? Let's see how they, how this comes off. Eh. It will. I bet it would come off better with a really good eraser, which I don't have up here. So, so that one is the worst one out of all of them, but another little lot that we're going to be doing. And here's my, okay, so that's that. Now, this I think is so cool. It's a teacher's handbook, elementary group activities for all the year. And it is from, I feel like I did not find a date, but look at this. And not, I don't think anything had been, no, it hasn't been used. The pages are vintage. This is has come away from the cover, but let's see if it has anything about the, um, a year in which it was, there's lots of things in here to talk uh, the teacher through how to, carbon paper is suggested and the easiest method for tracing the designs. Can you imagine having to trace that for all of the children in your class? Oh my Lord. Let's see. It does it not have a, mm -mm. But at any rate, there are all sorts of activities for one to do for all year long. Look at the squeals. Seeds for your garden. Look at, they even show you how to make a seed packet. Here's the squeals. So we got that. I do have a vintage, and you know, for me to give up, a, and these are big, these, uh, you can't see all of it probably. For me to give up a Better Homes and Gardens, because these are one of my very favorites. Uh, it's huge. But I am doing it because I think that you guys need one too. But the advertisements, amazing. The um, illustrations, awesome. And this is from 1969 as well. May, I was a month old. Look at that. Look at that kitchen. And look, these. this is one of the my favorite things is when they do layouts. Oh, goodness. So this will be coming. Ooh, look at that. I haven't really flipped through this one yet. For the love of Mike, make sure your patio, door, patio doors have PPG safety glass. Well, yeah, Mike needs to be safe. It's interesting to see like what things are, do they still make Imperial margarine? I think they do. I never use margarine, by the way. What is the point? I mean, I was watching Life with Patty, and she does a lot of cooking, which I love to watch, but, you know, I'm not the best. I don't cook a lot, but she uses margarine all the time, and I'm like, am I missing out on something? Should I be using margarine? Okay, so Beth Ann is coming. I've got a bunch of paper dolls. Beth Ann is coming. Apparently, at one time, she was baby paper doll lot, lots, 20 cents for everything. Lot of other things here. <laughs> this is from 1955. But what I did is um, these are all of her little outfits and clothes. And then I, this was another one, but there's no baby in there and it was just the cover. So I thought, well, I'll just put it all together. And then there is Beth Ann. Little Beth Ann. Baby Beth. And she's in her crib waiting. And look at that. So there's two of those. Well, one and then the cover of the other one. And then I don't know, little Lou. I, this is going to be hard to get all on screen. It's huge. Like new, doll and all the clothes. 
So my guess is that somebody bought this at a yard sale and then somebody used it because this is from 1970 and it isn't like new because this is all that's left. So this little pack is going to be coming with something else because there's not, we have no doll, we just have a bunch of clothes. So Marge's Little Lou doll book will be coming together. This one I thought was super cute. Um, this is from 1972, but oh my goodness, this has my heart. Uh, see, party dresses for Peggy and me. So this is Peggy. And this is Patty. Patty and I jump and ride in our garden, in our yard outside. Well, look at those outfits. There's, I would think this would be so cool to make into a journal. How? I'm not sure how I would do it, but I know it can be done and it would be super cute. And the little, you can't see the bottom, but there's, oh. <laughs> you can't, I've got this thing in front of me. There you go. Peggy and I are at your side. I love the font. So this will be coming. And then this is newer, but this is Twin Tots of the 20s. And I have some of these for fashion, and I really love them. Uh, this is Evelyn Gavings. And uh, this is copyright 2000. Uh, they still, I don't know if they still make these, um, this particular one, but I've gotten some newer and they're on my Amazon favorite, um, traveling crafter favorite things. But we're going to be doing some paper doll ephemera making in the near future. So if you're someone who wants to play along, some of these that I'm going to be using might be fun for you. And then I... Uh, there were tons of Raggedy Ann and Andy stuff. Hundred, I mean, I probably hundreds of um, dolls, but everything else in between. And you guys saw the tin that I bought, the bucket. But this is one of the books. I kept one, and they're the very large golden books. You know, 12 plus inches, probably 13 inches. And it is so cute. This is Merry Christmas 1979 JW from Santa. Look at that. I know you can't see everything because it's big. This is from 19, 10th printing, 1978. But it doesn't even look like it's... I mean, you can still hear the pages crinkling like nobody even read it. Like, see it? So I won't disturb it. But oh my goodness, how I love this. So there's those. I do have a stack of books and records. So when I started looking, I didn't look at anything. I just picked up things and I was like, okay, well, I'll just go through it later. Um, this isn't something I would normally pick up, but I really kind of liked these. Uh, and I think it would be fun to do something with the record itself in a journal. Uh, maybe turn this into something and then make this whole entire thing into a journal. We've already got a pocket. Um, so there's Peter and the Wolf. And Fred and Barney Circus Fun, which I love. And these, I mean, the book seems so new. They did have a uh, 45 record player, but the needle was broke. And I was like, mm, no, this is, this is actually worth a little bit of money. But I'm going to bring it. Because maybe somebody really likes the Gremlins. Puff the Magic Dragon. Now, this is just the record. Lives by the sea. And the farmer in the dough. Just the record. And Pinocchio. Which. This one is. I don't know if I'm going to bring this one. Because this supposedly. Is worth between $20 and $30. So I don't know. Maybe this one might go on eBay. We'll see. But. <clears throat> I got those. So let's see, what else do I have? What else do I have? All of these are coming. All of these are coming. All of these are coming. I got lots of books this week. And then, now this is, uh, this is not, uh, okay. Well, let me refrain. 
If you are a book collector, you may be very, very interested in these. Now, I'm not sure which ones will be coming to the sale, but these are what I would consider in fabulous shape. And personally, I would not be, I would put these on display because they're awesome. And there is a Dick and Jane in there. So, um, you know, if you're coming to the live sale, remember that I would normally be listing these on Etsy or eBay. And I just want you guys to have a chance at them. But these are not uh, probably something that a artist would want to tear apart. But if you do, I'm not going to judge. I won't. Um, but we have, and so like I said, I don't know which ones are coming, which ones are not. Uh, but we have this first one that is Good Times with Our Friends. This one is worth quite a bit if you follow any of the vintage readers. So we will see. But we got Dick. We got Jane and Sally. So there's that one. These I can't decide if I want. This is Tip and Mitten. Uh, if I want, I don't know. I mean, why? I'm not going to take them apart. So I think that somebody who's a collector should probably have these. But these, you know, these are some of the more valuable ones. And like I said, I didn't know when I was picking them up. I just, look at this. I love that. I just wanted to be able to bring some things. And I, you guys know I am a sucker for any of the vintage readers. So these are really close to my heart. But some of them are coming through or coming to you. Um, this one is one of them I know will be coming to all of you. This one barely even looks like it's ever been opened. And so they're in fabulous, fabulous shape. Um, and then we have this one, which is, I love this one. This is the Dick and Jane, New Friends. There is um, just a little, I, I don't remember that there was much anywhere other than that one page. But this is the Dick and Jane book. Oh, and you guys remember I went to that um, in Walnut. I went to, what's it called? I'm not going to remember now. But one of the antique stores and they have a whole display of Dick and Jane and all readers. Oh, there's a little bit of damage on that rip on that one. Hundreds and hundreds of dollars for one piece of Dick and Jane, a book or whatever else they had. So this will for sure be coming to the sale. And then this one I can't decide. So here's a funny story. So Jim and Joanne are actually family friends of ours. That was their names. And we grew up with them and, uh, Jim's brother, uh, he had a horse, well, he was a horse breeder and we, um, bred all of our horses to his brother, Jim's brother, Joel's horses. But these guys, this Jim was, um, my dad's boss for a while and they became very, very good friends. So it's funny that I found a book called Jim and Joanne. And it's more funny because look, so this is, this is 1939, but, um, and the, I love this because they're photos, but the, it's more interesting because my mom gave me a book that she wants me to turn into a journal for, for a friend of ours. And it is Bob and Judy, who are also lifelong friends. So crazy. But these, mm. so this one, I'm not sure uh, how I will. It would kind of be fun to, to do a journal you know, for their family. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. So, and then I have four, let's see, four more. And again, um, this one they had written on and it is called If I Were Going, the Alice and Jerry books. I have a couple Alice and Jerry books and there are just wonderful illustrations in here. So this will for sure be coming to the sale. And then I haven't decided, well, yeah, this one, 
It's another one of these that doesn't even look like it's ever been opened. So, you know, it's kind of hard, but I just feel like, I mean, yes, they're going to be a little bit more uh, expensive. However, um, if you are a collector, they are well worth it. Um, and if I don't have anybody that's a collector type of person, then I'll put them on <clears throat> eBay or Etsy. That's, that's fine. But I wanted you guys to, I wanted to be able to bring these. So I have two of these. This is at school. It's called, um, I thought it was, this is from 1956. Oh, it's just called at school. And they had a bunch at the zoo, at the home, you know, blah, blah, blah. So these are really super cute. And again, it doesn't even look like this book actually got used. Super, super adorable. <clears throat> oh, it smells even vintage. And this one is at home, which I particularly like a lot. So I know there's going to be readers. I do not know um, how many or which ones, but um, I think that you will enjoy so that is it, guys. That is it for this haul. Lots of goodness for um, us to play around with. And I've got to get to work because uh, you guys said that you wanted playing card bundles and more dangles and stick pins. And I haven't made any, so I need to get to it. So until next time, friends, remember to take time to just be. I hope you have a great day and that you're, if you're thrifting, you're having fun at it, and finding lots and lots of wonderful things. Until next time, remember to take time to just be. We'll see you soon. Cheers.